Have you ever lost something special? Have you felt all alone and bereft? I bought a travel iron. <laughs> and it left. <laughs> I went back to the shop. They were surprised I didn't know. That's the thing about travel irons. They go. It's the call of the wild. It's more than they can bear. They're like cordless shavers. They can't be tied down. There's a world full of trousers out there. He gets in touch at weekends and tells me where he's at. I had a mobile phone and he rings me up on that. He'd just been to Switzerland, him and his brother, Colin. <laughs> Every day they went over the Alps. They've done what his dad did to Holland. <laughs> That's how it is with trap lions. They can't be tied up in houses. Hope he doesn't come back one day and claim custody of half me trousers. <laughs> and now I never iron me clothes. I'm not iron the ones I've got on. <laughs> I might if I had me travel iron, but it's gone. I've got nothing smart to wear. That's why I'm never seen about. Most evenings I stay in, me travel iron's out. <laughs> it tells me where it's been. I suppose there's always that. I get lots of postcards, and they're always really flat. <laughs> I got it in the sales. I bought it then because I thought it was a good buy. <laughs> it was. <laughs> he wasn't with me long, but oh, the happy hour we spent. I'd like to have known him better, but he went. 